Marcus looking for his seventh victory of the season. And his first pitch is a fastball outside at 94. You talked about it, and it's 2 0. Oh. You were diagramming a few minutes ago. We said there's so many starts really from the second half of last year the continuing theme this year It has a lot of elevated pitches out over the heart of the plate, but he gets a good ground ball right there from Brandon Nimmo So we'll take a look at his arsenal. This is brought to you by Statcast, powered by Google Cloud. Herman, especially out of the stretch. We know he's been leaving it out over the heart of the plate Well, the Rockies are a plate. That's why he switched up to the neon green shoes. Well, I was gonna have um, that pointed out. They're U.S. Open shoes, I'm pretty sure. Is that what they yeah. are? Okay. I th it's, uh, it looked like it said it on there. And obviously for Ted's That's great. pretty cool, isn't it? Ball, and you could blast him as far as you wanted. And then you had the one that your dog ate. Maybe you played with <laughs> <laughs> You played two. Three and two on Lindor. And this is bounced toward the middle of the diamond. Brendan Rodgers has got it, and Lador. You wonder what the Met record is for RBIs in a season. It's a hundred. First two. I don't know. My headsets are pretty, pretty noise canceling. And three and zero. Oh. And that's a good 3 0 pitch side. And ball four. I was really hoping for milkshake. <laughs> good running fastball. It's a two seed. That's a great pitch. But we're seeing Herman. Two outs, two strikes, Alonso on outside. And he, uh, his first two pitches to Vogelbach, paint. And this is a good play by Krohn. He'll scramble to his feet. And that's for a thousand. He does it, but you watch the bat to ball skills, they're, they're unbelievable. Oh. You think it's a little space gives you more control? In the air, deep right, off the bat of McNeil, and it'll die out. The Here's Mark Canna. High on base percentage guy. He's collected some big hits. He's had some big hits. Sun peeking out. It was overcast this morning. Swung on a miss. On the ground right at Brendan Rodgers. He was positioned perfectly. Step and a half on the right side. And where was the ball hit? Right at him. Uh, it doesn't always work out that way, but. It tends not to be hit where the defenders are. One and one on Tyler Nakin. His last name is has a little Creole in it. Yeah, I remember, I remember you doing something on the. One, two on. Ooh, that just missed. That's a fastball. You don't see him pull. Then he comes back and throws that. And that's. She did. That's your. Down today. So I had to get it here a little early. Are we buying that, Corey? Well, he was on the 930 bus. Last night after the game, I just want you to know. Okay. And then he was a no show for the morning run. Just saying. One ball, one. Scherzer, three good innings. Shallow center. Hampson's there. I don't think I've shared this. Amboozled. Well, here's the problem, Billy. This happened once before in Washington. Well, <laughs> all right, we won't tell that one. But $66 breakfast. Line out to left from James McCann. That stinks. That's still. the street to Starbucks because you were still hungry. So hungry. Yeah, but you saved a little money on Canal Street, so you're good. <laughs> yeah. Two outs. Brandon Nimmo at the plate. And that's chop foul. I, I'm just curious. 
And the great curveball and Nimmo's a strikeout victim. Servant will get the added first. Lead things off. He bounced second his first time. Herman's been outstanding, matching Scherzer pitch for pitch. I want to correct one thing. I said it was Buck Showalter who patted him on the backside when he came into the dugout after an inning. Swung on and missed. It was actually that Scherzer told him. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Scherzer said, I, I gave you the most congratulations or support because that's my job. And he's wonderful the other four days. Well, apparently Max is like, no. 3-1 lifted to center field. And now the hitless stretch for Lynn. Alonso's 0 for 6 again. 14 in those 12 innings. And he's in position to get a strike out here. Ball 33%. Here's the 0-2. That, that's a terrific job to have ability to spoil good pitches. I mean, that is a lot. Oh, two. And that's right to Rogers positioned up the middle. Two outs here where you're starting to look around saying, is it today? Is it today? It could be today. We'll go back hit a ground ball. To CJ Crone his first time and now pain. He almost went. One and work fast. You know her mind. He gets the baseball, gets right back on the rubber. Here's the one, two. There's a the curveball again. Change up. Two two. Okay, so swing and miss. So he goes up with a heater. Well, he went in with a heater, and it's Gene King. Tomorrow, the U.S. Open begins. And a lot of play. Yeah, I, I noticed that as well. Yeah. 0-1 on Jeff McNeil, and McNeil pulls it to right. And I guess it's fitting that the first hit of the game for the... Kind of grounded out to Rogers his first time. Uh oh. We're in that fastball in there again. What? That is foul. This is popped up left side. Easy play for McMahon. What? Well, Think about this. The Cardinals and the Brewers are no slouches either. Brewers may be short. Tyler Naquin. Uh, great. Yeah, and congrats to uh, to Matt. That's awesome. That was a red jacket, though, wasn't it? That was great. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's eight seasons. Ted Simmons, new Hall of Famer. The latest generation of players to, to not be aware of the history of the game, but but that's that's not fair because they're up in scoring position. Well, he needs a punch out here if he can get it on Naquin, and he just yeah. did. Two outs. Didn't go, but by any measurement, he clearly went. Brett Beatty takes a strike. And Beatty lines at the center. Two years ago at three. Was that it was during COVID? Yeah, it was two years, three, years ago. Three years. Okay. I think I've shared this story. You see Santa Barbara baseball camps and James McCann multiple years was Asler. No, it had nothing to do with being said. Two and one. 74 pitches in for Herman. So he's at a lower pitch count. Should come out. 94 pitches. Does he come out for the seventh? This is on the ground to short. You would you would think so. There's Brandon Nimmo, ground out strikeout. Not a huge strikeout total. Uh, again, the mistakes with the fastball early in the year, I think. You can call that a contributing factor. Well, I, I think you may be getting outs, but obviously you're not gonna get a strikeout. It's in there. Yeah, it's just the importance of strike. Nine strikeouts. 
in six innings of work. That's on the inside corner. That levels the count two and two on three yesterday. First inning homer, second inning double. This is on the ground right at Brendan Rogers. Two gone. Afternoon. Yeah. Well, today on a Sunday afternoon, you have a guy who's Nick Scherzer. A one on Lindor. It's fun like it's punch outs and Tom Terrific. 3,640 strikeouts. Three of those guys match up on a Sunday. Well, I'll tell you what. One thing that was, that's similar when Hilliard stole second, the steal got the balk. Right. You can tell the fans the energy they know. Big league warm up in front of the dugout. Two two on Lindor and a curveball drops off. So the Rockies plus side depth is it pitched probably the eighth inning the majority of the year but I imagine we'll see Lamette as Pete just missed that one easy play for Hampson in center two pitches Big Apple doesn't scare me I like to bite it Daniel Vogelbach taking the fourth inning and he argued rather vociferously with uh, Adam Hammery that um, he realized that the pitch that was called a strike was indeed a strike. Yeah. All start trying to fight, but you know. Three and one. Perversion of 2021. Today for Herman and Vogelbach walks with one out. Jeff McNeil, the toughest downs in the game. Got a finger or bottom finger, and they're when they rub together, it hurts. Just was, yeah. similar grimy grinding at bats. This ball's pretty well hit the center, but Hansen has a beat. Putting six now, hopefully seven plus together in the same game. 15 to 23, 65 percent. Well, and to that point. Here's what's pounding the strikes in. One one that misses two and one. I was talking to Herman. He said one thousand percent, and you know Herman feels that. Put down around the handle. It's a little tacky tape. Well, I don't think he. Two and two on Mark Canna with two outs. Runner going and up the middle. Right there is Rogers, and he throws to. Thank you.